Good morning, everybody. Good morning, grandmas. Sorry about the audio problem yesterday. I was using my backup camera, which I had never used until yesterday, and I just found out that the audio is broken on it because this camera had fog all over the lens from filming so much in the rain and water. I had to dry out all the condensation that was inside this lens right here. So now we know this camera, the audio doesn't work. So now that's crap. We had one eBay sale overnight in this drawer, this pair of really cool pants sold for 49 bucks. So that's awesome, we'll get those out. All right, so mom broke her previous screen protector, so we bought her a new one. She's gonna install it. If it's this easy, shouldn't everyone out there get a screen protector, mom? Of course. So what are you doing, the wet wipe? Just so you, you clean the screen with the wet wipe, which is step one. And then you dry the screen with the dry wipe, that's step two. And you wanna kinda try to do this in a low dust environment. So, My house would be the wrong place yeah. then. So if you have like dog dander flying around or cat dander flying around or at good. a sawmill. It's yeah. good to me. And then you just take off the back part. Okay. We put on so, two guiding pieces of tape on the corners. So we're this peeling one, off the back. Yeah. And then you use the tape to guide it. Uh, it's too tapey. Just, as long as it's on there. Does yep. that look good? Watch it'll just suck. Oh, I'm not getting this. It just goes... This reminds me of my days when I lined the shelves with contact paper, just on the edge. Mom's phone is now protected. Good job, Mom. So I got this a couple days ago when I had filmed my student loan update video. I popped into a thrift and bought this HeroScape Master Set Swarm of Morrow. I scanned this, it would have gone for a, around 180 to $200 on Amazon, 100 and something plus on eBay. Opened it up to disappointment, it's, it's only the landscape tiles. I don't know how much this will go for, like 40 or 50 bucks maybe. I was excited, I thought it was worth like 200. Also got my AC compressor in the mail, this sucker is heavy, but upon inspection, I have an exposed freaking wire here. This is ridiculous. So I messaged the seller, he said I can return it, they can send me a new one, or they can send me a new clutch assembly. So I opted in for the new clutch assembly. We're getting really close to uh, van surgery day, and I wanna make sure everything is going to try to go smoothly, even though I know it won't. So I just got a huge sale on eBay. Kingdom Hearts 2 for the PS2 sold for $5.99. There's a break in the rain right now, so I'm on my way to steal my mom's car, use it during the day while she's at work. And I just noticed that my front brake on the scooter, it is super tight, it's not working correctly. I, I might have to bleed it out, change the fluid, or rebuild the master cylinder, so that's another project for another day. We have captured the Prius. So now that I have a vehicle to protect me from the impending weather, go to AutoZone, pick up some tools that I'm gonna need for the van work. Then I'm gonna drop off the printer that we sold yesterday at FedEx. It was 25 bucks to ship that Samsung printer that we found. Ooh, I see a FedEx truck. Oh, here, there he goes. That way I won't have to go to FedEx and stand in line. It'll get the package on its wayward son. There'll be peace when you are done. He's pulling out, I'm gonna get behind him. We're gonna follow him till he stops. Hunt is on. Stalking our prey. Following this FedEx guy till we can drop off our package. Hey mate, I got a package. Is it possible to give it to you? Yeah. Cool. Right awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And that is what we call efficiency. And I'm right by a Goodwill, so I might as well pop in, right? Okay. We're gonna do it. Might as well. Wish me luck. A pair of Jordan CP3 7s, size 8. These are really clean, really nice. These ones are actually real. The other pair I bought here was fake. However, I don't think we're gonna get them because I've seen a new pair just go for 50 bucks. They are clean though. Super clean. If this racquetball racket didn't have a break in it, I would pop on it. Five bucks, but this particular model, not strung, is not worth that much. So we're not gonna pop. Shout out to Macklemore. <laughs> this is actually a knee board here. Then I bought a knee board. I usually like to pick up these grips also, just so I can regrip a tennis racket or a racquetball racket, but this one is completely cracked out. Too old, even though it's brand new. This thing is not usable. The plastics or the rubbers have completely degraded. I will pop on this though. HP 30B business calculator, $1.99. Not bad for a little pop and shop. 10 minutes, made 40 bucks. Check out this sick trike next to AutoZone. This dude is rocking it. That's like full size car tires on the back there. Crazy sick. Harley Sportster 883. Look at that rear axle. That thing is like lifted up. That is awesome. He's not ready for the impending rain. AutoZone was packed with people and I did not see 
the uh, PAG 46 um, AC compressor oil that I need. So we just left. I'll probably just buy the parts online and wait another two or three days till they come. That looks like the plan. I'm gonna swing by one more Goodwill and then go to the gym, get my Monday lift on. Windy Goodwill number two, the storm is brewing. That's gonna be hitting us soon. And then Mr. Three-Wheeled Motorcycle is not gonna be happy. That was a less successful pop and shop, didn't find anything in there. Time to head to the gym. Sold two things while at the gym. Apple keyboard for $20, $29. Tommy, 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 the who. A lot of people have been favoriting this, but finally somebody bought it. Am I not a rain oracle of Florida? I feel bad for that three-wheeled motorcycle guy. Hope he made it home okay dry. And this is why we did the scooter trade. We knew it was gonna happen. A little rain fender bender. So this is the Apple keyboard. Sold for about 30 bucks on Amazon. And this is how I have my Etsy shirts organized. They're just in drawers kind of by color. I got all the greens together. There's some reds and yellows. So I know that Tommy, can you hear me? Tommy, can you hear me? And we sold another copy of Pokemon Ruby for $19.99. I actually raised my price. I have one more copy left and I raised it up to 23 bucks. We'll see if it sells. There was another break in the rain. So I went back to swap scooter for car to give my mom back the car. It's around five o'clock. It's got this in the mail, another Canon camera. I am buying broken ones to try to learn how to diagnose and fix them. It is a viable business model to be so good at fixing one type of item where you can buy them broken, fix them, and sell them. It becomes efficient. You enjoy doing them. Right now, these cameras that I'm using are becoming disposable, so I'm trying to get good at fixing them, making profit, and having a couple of spares. Because right now, my spare, uh, the microphone's not working. I just found that out. I bought this as a broken one. I bought this as a broken one. And then there's a broken one over there that I'm working on. And between uh, all of these, I should be able to get two working, hopefully two working cameras. Maybe I'll sell one and keep one as a backup. I don't know. That's pretty much what I've been up to today. Um, thanks everybody for hanging out with me. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. Tomorrow is Q&A Tuesday. So if you have any silly questions, noob questions, any other questions about things I've been up to, what I've been doing, pharmacy contract is still pending. I heard back from them and that was it. I'm still waiting on them. I'll probably do a couple of CEs tonight. Thanks everyone for watching yesterday's video. My brother Andy, he's a character. He'll definitely be back on in the future. Cat is in labor. We might go up to Tampa tomorrow to see the newest member of my family. Welcome Christian Alexander Spears into the world. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.